hello oh my gosh it's me it's not kevin it's me chris uh welcome to the tutorial gosh. for the buffy the vampire slayer tabletop role-playing game uh i have here with me today myself uh i'm chris i also have all of my players guys say hi hello hello good evening Hold on. Oh, that would be that would explain why. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I, I don't trust myself anymore. Um, so let's start with um, Mr. Kyle. Who are you? What do you do? Uh, I am the Bat Kyle. In game, I will be playing Jacob Knight. Everybody or Jacob King. Everybody. I was looking at the wayward knight on here. <laughs> uh, Jacob King. Everybody calls him Yay. Uh, he is your resident lovable half demon stoner. Who also has crippling visions of terrible things that will happen. Awesome. <laughs> uh, outside of that, I run um, the uh, Last Hurrah of Honest John campaign for uh, Deadlands Reloaded uh, with our wonderful Kevin, who is not visible, but he's here, always present. Always. Um, and, <laughs> you know a host of other wonderful people. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of chaos. I don't actually plan for anything with that game anymore. I just kind of roll with whatever's happening because that's the most entertaining way to do it. Um, beyond that, I mod a lot. Sometimes I jump into the Friday fun shots and beyond that, do not perceive me. <laughs> do not perceive me. Only perceive oh. me four days a week. <laughs> Eddie and I both so that's right. Okay. <laughs> Next up, Eeny Meeny Miny Eddie. Who are you? Who are you playing? What do you do? Hi, my name is Eddie Elfman. I'm an Edmonton based voice actor. You can find me at the following links. Um before I get into who I play, I'll talk about who I love because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Uh, and my partner has started a photography studio, so check that out on Instagram and oh, support yeah. a small local artist, local to me, not maybe not to you. Um, but tonight I'll be playing uh, an economics major, uh, Cheryl. Um, uh, her friends call her Sherry, um, and that that'll that'll be it. We'll we'll get into the voice a little bit later. Awesome, eeny meeny miny, glory. Who are you? Who are you playing? What do you do? Uh, so hi, I'm Gloriosa, also known as Blaze of Gloriosa, um, on everything, um, social media, Twitch, everything, Blaze of Gloriosa. Um, I stream here a lot on like Sundays and soon Wednesdays, uh, and Mondays. And I don't think Tuesdays or Thursdays yet or Saturdays, but sometimes Fridays. Yeah. Um, I also sometimes stream on my own channel, but more often I'm actually here. Um, and I will be playing, uh, I just decided on a name and I've already forgotten it. <laughs> Estia. Estia, um, who is, you know, just your average everyday college student, um, totally normal and absolutely not involved in anything supernatural. Good to know. Good to know. <laughs> and finally, finally, last but not least, in the very least, Mana. Who are you? Who are you playing? What do you do? Oh, you're muted. I thought I unmuted. Listen, you know it's been a little bit since I've streamed when I don't remember to unmute. <laughs> um, I am Mana. Um, to some, queen to others, Mana Queen everywhere else except for twitter because somebody stole it before i could um but i am mana queen on discord twitch you name it um i play here most of the time also i play every single wednesday at wandering haven publications so i bounce back and forth between you guys and them um and i am playing ash lexington who happens to be our slayer uh so it should be very interesting she's a brand new slayer and we'll get into what that means a little bit later with chris i'm very very sure <laughs> okay first of all thank you guys for all being here this started out as just me planning to tell our viewers 
how this game works before um, we, you know, launch it, uh, which that will be on the 27th of this month. Um, and now it's a party, so I'm so happy. Uh, a few things before we get into the nitty gritty. Um, I'm a little nervous that I might take too long, so if I talk too fast and you get confused or, like, lost, just, like, do that or, like, say my name. And I'll be like, what, wait, what, what? And then uh, we'll go from there. Uh, We're using the revised core rulebook for the purposes of this tutorial, except the thing that I have on my screen right now is the, <laughs> is the regular rulebook because my copy of the revised core rulebook glitched out for this page. So we're using this right now. Um, but it's almost all the same information. There's some extra stuff in the revised version but you don't need all that jazz to play the game. Uh, let's see. Uh, in the future, the game may also draw upon materials from the supplemental books, but we'll get to that if we get to that. And um, this tutorial will be explaining the very base core mechanics. So with that, let's get into it. We're going to start with some terms, the, the, the vocabulary of the system, as it were. The game master, or the GM, is referred to as the director. That's me. Um, player characters are called cast members. Villains are called adversaries. NPCs are called guest stars. Plot arcs are called episodes. Multiple episodes make up a season, and multiple seasons make up the whole series, which is the entire story created by the cast and the director. So what will you need? You will need a director. Again, that's me. You'll need a cast. That's you lovely people. And you'll need character sheets, which we will be using on Roll20. Or some of, uh, I know some of you guys have a physical one. That's okay, too. Because you will also need a D10. You can use a digital one or a physical one. I don't care. Now let's start with how to create a character. So to make a character, you need to know the whens, wheres, whys, and whats. So you can create the who's and how's. And I will be walking through full custom character creation, but do know that there are also pre-generated archetypes that you can take as is or use as a base and build off of or customize. So the character creation process, um, you guys have been through it already. Um, there are four basic elements. First is type, and that is where we uh, look over here on this lovely page you can either be a white hat a hero or an experienced hero now the difference is that white hats are like the normal people like the xanders and the willows and the cordelias heroes are the more experienced stronger characters like the slayer or an initiative commando and experienced heroes are like season seven Buffy. So we're not going to have any experienced heroes in our game right now, but we do have uh, one hero who is our Slayer. Um, slayers are automatically the hero, or the hero type, and then the rest of our lovely players are White Hats. And the main difference is that White Hats, or heroes start with more um, points to allocate, but White Hats start with more lifelines called drama points, which we will get to in uh, further along. Next, you get your attributes. These are your character's natural abilities, mental and physical. Strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, perception, willpower, I ran out of fingers. Uh, and you buy these with attribute points, which are determined by your type. So if we, if we go to a white hat, say, white hats get 15 attribute points, whereas a hero gets 20 and again I um it it's divvied up because white hats obviously don't have as much um like raw power I guess you could say as someone like the slayer or a trained initiative commando so they that's how they balance it out um so the basic rules of attribute points are you can't go past six unless you're something like a slayer or a vampire with like supernatural powers and you must have at least one in each um attribute 
Next come qualities and drawbacks. And this is what I think is the most important, or not important, um, interesting um, sort of mechanic in this game is that, um, so qualities and drawbacks are the innate advantages or penalties that affect your character. A quality is a positive trait and it costs quality points, which are also determined by your type over here. Um, a drawback is a limiting or detracting trait. And qualities, and oh, let me scroll down here. So we get to qualities and drawbacks. Let's look at acute slash impaired sense right here. They have values. Now this one can be a quality or a drawback. So if you wanted the quality, so an acute sense, you would spend two quality points on that. However, if you took a drawback, you would gain two quality points to further spend on more qualities, if that makes sense. Because the, the question would be, why would you want to give your character flaws? Aside from making them well-rounded and dynamic and, uh, you know, taking drawbacks has those value points that you can get to further spend on positive traits. Does that make sense? So you're telling me that I can, I can garner different flaws to allow myself to get more points to spend on other attributes and positive things. Is there a limit to the number of drawback points I can take? Yes. Yes, there is. You can take up to 10. You do not have to take the full 10, but you must stop at 10. Well, that kind of sucks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, you know, no, I don't know a GM out sucks. there that wouldn't let you take more than 10. You just don't get any extra points for it. Yeah, that's true. If You can take more drawbacks, but you can only get points up to 10 in return. That is a good point. Tragic Hero who? <laughs> Um, let's yeah, see. but there's tragic hero, and then there's a hero who pretty much just you know wheeled around by everybody else and can't function. Can't function. <laughs> Strength of one, constitution of one. Oh my just, goblin king! Yes, of course. There's <laughs> a pretty looking sword at that point. Yep. Put him in an iron well, lung. Swing the iron lung. At people. Oh, Siosa. Yeah, pretty much. So, so once I'm you. About um... <laughs> So once you uh, just once you choose your qualities and drawbacks, those are um, permanent for the most part. Um, certain ones can be um, bought later, uh, or you can kind of buy off drawbacks. It's it's you gotta talk to me about it. <laughs> um, I can also inflict drawbacks on y'all if the story uh, makes it appropriate. So um, we'll see where the story goes. Finally, there are skills. Skills are what your character knows. They are learned abilities that are the results of training, study, or experience. They are bought just like attributes with skill points that are determined by your type, which I'm not on the page anymore. But if we go to, gotta go all the way back here. Skills. You got. I mean, there's lots of blurbs, but um, very quickly, uh, you can have no more than seven in one skill, but you can have zeros in different skills. Uh, we have acrobatics, art, computers, crime, doctor, driving, getting medieval, uh, gun fu, influence, knowledge, kung fu, languages, Mr. Fix, Mr. Fix It, notice occultism, science, sports, and wild cards. So you'll notice... Anyone who's used to D and D, those are nothing like the D and D skills. This is um, these are skills that are more relevant to the Buffy universe. Um, for example, getting medieval is like what you would use if you wanted to punch somebody. Um, wild card is like a um, like a specific thing that you might know that doesn't have a skill already about it. Wait, so unlike other systems, I can come up with my own type of skill and put that in the wild card slot and use that? That's so innovative and different from other baseline 
systems. I think it's actually really cool. Um, one of my friends who was in a campaign with me uh, of this game also really likes it. Uh, and then to round things off, you determine your life points, which represents your physical health. And that is your strength plus your constitution times four plus 10. There is a handy chart in the book if you don't like math. Nobody um, likes math from this party. Not a single person. <laughs> Not a single person. As an economics major, I adore math. <laughs> uh huh. I have a phone that does that for me. <laughs> Some qualities can add life points, so that's why it's best to figure out life points like at the end. And then finally, you add your finishing touches. You know, your name, your appearance, anything else that you find relevant to tell us about, and we'll learn more about our own uh cast members mm -hmm. uh as the game progresses and now we get to the rules the rules i'm sorry no i'm not i'm not sorry so oh that scrolled down too far we start with a basic role this system uses d10s or specifically just a d10 a basic role is a d10 roll plus an attribute and an attribute or a skill and that'll that'll make more sense when we do our example game so how well you do is determined in success levels let me and this is where we go over here so this is what one of the physical character sheets looks like and if you look down here, there's a handy dandy table of um, how success levels work. So your roll total, which is the D10 plus the attribute plus the attribute or skill, will end up uh, with a total number. Um, that number, if it is below nine, you fail. But if it's nine or higher, depending on what the number is, that is the level of successes that you have. So say I rolled a 12. I have two successes. I did decently. So, you know, I didn't like stick the landing, but you know, I didn't fall flat on my ass, if that makes sense. So as you get progressively more and more skilled and stronger, you can roll higher and higher and do better and better, but that also means that the challenge level is going to get harder and harder because that's how gaming works. Movement mechanics are not anything like they are in most TTRPGs um, that your most mainstream ones like you know Pathfinder or D and D. Movement, mm -mm. <laughs> say that five times fast. Movement mechanics are minimal there we go um they're meant to, it's meant to be played fast and loose so if you want to go over there you're you're over there if you want to climb a tree you climb a tree it, um you might have to make a like an acrobatics roll to climb the tree but um if you want to you know walk over to the vampire you walk over to the vampire it's that so, simple so i mean like Oh, no, go ahead. Um, so the movement is more like cinematic than it is actually mechanical. Yes, there there are movement mechanics um, that I didn't include because they really only come into play if movement is an integral element of the scene, say like in a chase scene or something. And in that case, I would run it, run you guys through it really quickly. Um, the, you know, day of the the episode or whatever. So, I mean, like, kind of what you're saying is you have to learn the rules of the game and then you have to break them and play better than anybody else, obviously. <laughs> I so, mean, you got to know them before you can break them, but once you break them, you've broken them. And you remember for the ones you break. There are a lot of things that you can do in the Buffy universe um, that will require roles. They're not always going to be super intensive. Um, anyone who's watched Buffy knows that they do a lot of research 
but it usually happens off screen. So that's yeah. that um that's kind of the way it works in the game too. You do a couple of rolls, have some banter, and then I tell you what you learned. It's that simple. Um you might have to roll a fear test, which um determines if you get the wiggins or not. So some of those some of those attributes might come in handy. I'm looking at you, Slayer. Uh, some of those are wig- what are Wiggins? For uh, <laughs> the, the Wiggins is, uh, you know, you wigged out, you're freaked out by something. <laughs> so I mean, I know what the Wiggins are, obviously, because like looking at you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the Wiggins yeah. are the creeps, the willies, the the frightenings, the scares. Oh, we have the you're gonna run, running. you're gonna pee your pants. We have that the content moderator is actually translating all the 90s slang that's going to be happening on these streams. <laughs> we uh, we may need to publish a glossary. Actually, there is a glossary in the back of the book. There is. Uh, and there are several collections online to be found of Buffy slang. You yes. know what? Yeah. Bi- Bison or Chelsea can very much be our translators, I feel like. <laughs> let's see um also i'm sorry chat i'm going really fast um if someone sees that chat needs me to slow down just like flag me down no you're going perfect speed i think okay uh now we get into combat action takes place in segments called turns which are a short period of time approximately five seconds so a a turn is basically like a round in D D. Um, a turn is when every uh, is how long it takes for everyone to um, do their action, and action comes in three phases. So a, a turn comes in three phases, I should say. Intentions, where the characters state uh, what they're doing. Initiative, uh, where we decide who goes when, and then the action, which is doing the things and meeting out the damage. A normal character can attack once and defend once per turn. There are some qualities um, that let you uh, take more than one uh, action. It depends. uh, Really, the only person who could do that is probably the Slayer at this point. Maybe Jacob. Um, (laughs) I think it's your dexterity scores can affect that. But um, that is getting into the weeds. Um, otherwise, additional actions do give you penalties. You'll find in this game um, a lot of there's a lot of like penalties to persist in something because it it likes to echo reality in that the more you do something, the more tired you get, um, which I also kind of like. Um, it's a little you'll you'll see how that works with the magic system too. It's 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 like a realistic application of spell slots in a way it's it's you are able to see your resource pool diminishing via lessened resources or via um penalties to your ability to do something there are things that i can do to make combat more complicated but we'll cross that bridge if we get there um they're more advanced maneuvers and things and like getting attacked from behind or getting knocked down one two punch um to calculate damage it is um so every every maneuver that has damage has either a base number or um like a formula that will tell you how to calculate the damage so it's the base number plus um one uh one point per success level so if you had four successes you'd add four onto that base number times the damage type or modifier and that um leads into the damage types which um can affect and modify the amount of damage that you um receive there are three types that are important here Um, bash damage, which is straightforward. It, it delivers, um, the amount of damage that, you know, 
what's the word that you calculate basically um there is slash or stab damage which um gets doubled on humans but not on like demons and stuff because you get stabbed that's gonna hurt you a lot more than if you get punched i i assume i've never been stabbed or punched uh, it does and... hurt more <laughs> yes we have our resident staker uh <laughs> with her stake here with i'm sorry what are your pronouns mana uh, my pronouns are they, she. Uh, Ash's pronouns are any and all. Okay, <laughs> no. Uh, but yeah, no, mine are mostly they, them, uh, but they, she is fine. Um, okay. but Ash's are, no, you're fine. Uh, I'm very feminine presenting, so that's why it's they, she, because I realize I present very feminine. Um, but Asha as a character is any and all. It kind of depends on the day. They wear, uh, gender identifying bracelets for those closest to them. Uh, fun fact cool <laughs> if anyone else would like to make their pronouns known that is cool with me too um but yes can attest that being stabbed hurts more than being punched in certain scenarios <laughs> <laughs> glorious suspicion i have questions <laughs> you have we're questions? in dirty 20 after dark already <laughs> Yes, Gloria. So, all right. So, so the stabbing, the stabbing is doubled, but the um, but the punching is a, is a, is has a flat modifier, or is it yes, both punches stress. and stabs stress. to humans are doubled? Uh, just um, just slashing and stabbing is doubled for humans. Yes. All right. Because that logically in the brain, their argument is that it does more double the amount of um. <clears throat> yeah, it's more likely Ouch. to be lethal. Damage. I guess is is how I would put it. Pain. That is, and then there's that is fire fair. pain. Fire Lots is pain. very bad and can accumulate over multiple turns. If it's not put out, put out the fire. Fire bad. <laughs> fire um, good. Armor is a thing that people can have. Um, it ranges from like a leather jacket to like full plate. Um, that comes in if someone has armor. It's pretty simple. Um, injury is a very it's a very fun mechanic here. It is it is like D and D, but also not at all because of the way that the numbers work. Um, if you are at or below ten life points, you have a negative two penalty to all of your rolls. If you're at or below five, it's negative four. Um, um, wait, honest question. Uh, out of character, everything that that's like all like checks, combats. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Yes. Okay. Cool. All every roll. Uh, can you remind us of that? Because I'm not gonna remember. That. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like if you fall below a certain health point, it's almost like a some sort of exhaustion type of thing, but not yeah. quite really. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. it's like cool. um, you are so depleted that your remaining life points should be spent surviving as opposed to fighting. Fair enough. Fair it enough. sounds a lot like the um, World of Darkness style, like damage levels that reduce dice the more you've been wailed on. That sounds that sounds about right. Um, yes. It doesn't reduce dice, but um, if you reach zero life points, you are unconscious or incapacitated at the very least, and you have to make a consciousness roll, and that's willpower plus uh, constitution minus any negative life points because in this game you can have negative life points and this is where it gets interesting because if you have 10 or more negative life points you have to make a survival test which is like death saves but you only get one shot one shot one opportunity one shot if you succeed you survive if you fail you die um, if you succeed, you still need immediate medical help. If you, um, if you don't get medical help within one minute, you have to make another survival test and you have to keep doing that every minute you don't get help with cumulative, uh, penalties for every minute that you have not gotten help. So did somebody take doctor? Because a, a successful a successful 
uh, doctor role can stabilize someone. So that's where that um, is going to come in. And um, Well, I'm more of a physical therapist than a doctor, but I, <laughs> I know that the say... red stuff coming out of a hole in your chest is bad. Uh, <laughs> yay took doctor? Okay. Physical <laughs> therapist, man. It's all about wellness. Okay. Okay. So, dying and healing. If your character dies, you get a couple turns or a couple moments to do your last actions, your say your last words, and you get to make them cool. So that's that's your time to shine as you go out in a blaze of whatever you want it to be. <laughs> For glory, it would be a blaze of gloriosa. <laughs> Um, healing is also very different from D&D because healing is more, um, more modeled after realism. If you don't get medical attention, um, you only heal one life point per day in game. If you do get medical attention, you heal one life point per constitution level per day spent in care so you have to stay in care if you want to fully heal um slayers and um monsters are different uh slayers heal faster and um other creatures of the night have different um regenerative abilities as well like vampires and stuff i won't spoil shit <laughs> i mean it pays to be special it obviously does. but i like to think of myself as more of a creature of the late afternoon <laughs> uh 2 p.m is not breakfast time okay every time is breakfast time then when do you have second breakfast Duh. after i have first breakfast whenever i have first breakfast your rules cannot contain me watch me try Sorry. my safe word is sturgeon scrolling scrolling forever uh we're almost there nope that's not it combat it's a lot of 2 p.m is is brunch time chat just so you know it uh, is brunch yeah time. yeah um, <laughs> I was and like, any 2 p.m is brunch time any meal is brunch if you have a mimosa with it i was just gonna say 2 p.m is mimosa time um, and a <laughs> slice of cantaloupe any, any time is mimosa time if you try hard enough you here we go champagne. So those lifelines that I was talking about earlier, those are called drama points. You start with an allotted number of those. They allow you chances to turn the tide, be heroic, save your ass. <laughs> Is one and of them called phone a friend because it has to be? No, but we can re rename one if you want. <laughs> um, Please, for the love of everything. Or five there are five ways to use drama points number one is a heroic feat um what this does is so basically you can perform an act of heroism to give you um an advantage in a fight or or an encounter what it does is it gives you a plus 10 on any value any value and a plus 10 base damage and success levels for your attacks. It is powerful, but you have to announce that you're going to use it before you roll, and you can only do it once per turn. Next is called, I think I'm okay. <laughs> you uh, get to get your uh, get back in the action after having your ass handed to you. Uh, half of the life point damage that you've taken, rounded down, is healed. And then you can do that once per turn, but in multiple turn, like successive turns as well. Um, doesn't necessarily wake unconscious people though, so you might still need medical attention. Next is plot twist. You get a, a break of sorts. Uh, you know, happenstance help is the way that I phrased it in my notes. Um, so you might uh, you might use plot twist to find a clue. Or to uh, have 
an NPC conveniently show up or something, um, you know, provided I approve. Next is Righteous Fury, where you get so pissed that you're a force to be reckoned with. You get a plus five to all attacks, including magical attacks, for the whole fight. And it is cumulative with the heroic feat, so they can stack. But you must have a proper provocation. You can't just be like, oh, I don't like that vampires exist, so I'm mad. You gotta, you gotta have a real reason for getting righteously furious. And finally, oh, also these all cost varying levels of drama points. Um, the This last one is the most expensive, depending on um, the level you wish to take of it. It's called Return from the Dead. You can literally, if your character dies, you can literally come back. But the sooner you want to come back, the more expensive it is. So you can come back immediately. But it's going to cost you. So, like, you can jump into a void above a construction site to save the world. But if you want to come back in the next hour, it's going to cost you, like, a lot of points. But if you want to come back, like, four weeks later, it won't cost you as much. But, like, everybody's going to be really confused because you were dead. And now you're back again. <laughs> And, and, then then gonna... and then in a couple episodes, you sing about it. Exactly. And, and you there's some sing dancing. about it. Yep. All right. I think that we're, I think that we're getting a little bit off track. So our director, where do we go from here? <laughs> but what if I want to come back from the dead? This is a very important thing because I really might die. That's kind of important. I'm sorry. I mean... All of us die someday, sweetheart. It's just, it's just the nature of things. I never asked for this. And he's like, let's let's circle back to that. <laughs> um, there are multiple ways you can earn drama points as well. So um, the most basic way is you can buy drama points by spending experience points. For white hats, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So um, you spend one experience point, you get one drama point. For heroes, you got to spend two point, there are two experience points to get one drama point um quotable quotes if you say something cool and memorable or if you take a show quote and make it clever you can't just spout out quotes from the show you gotta make it work in the scene um and then if i think it's awesome and cool i can be like hey drama point um heroic acts if you perform a significant self-sacrifice for the good of others you can get drama point as well when bad things happen to good people, if I require bad shit to happen, you guys can get compensated. It's nice. Well, I mean, I don't know how nice it is because bad shit's still happening, but. Um... <laughs> oh, 877 drama now. <laughs> the agony that is life. So, tragedy, crisis, et cetera, that's going to happen. And it's going to be part of your character's plots. And when that happens, you get drama points. For every episode in which it happens as well if that keeps continuing and you keep you know hit, knocking your role play out of the park that shit gets you drama points and then finally support your local hero which is exclusive to white hats but it's helping characters role play through the agony that is life which is the previous one we just talked about so if you if you as a white hat give your slayer a rousing speech to encourage them in their darkest hour or, you know, you you talk to someone who's having a crisis and you bring their faith back, um, you can get drama points for that. There are there are lots of great ways to earn drama points that can get you where you want to be in the game. Shit happens and life sucks. Let's go. <laughs> Good how to try harder than that. Hacks. <laughs> so, um, lastly, for the basic rules, experience and improvement. There, um, you you get more. There's no leveling, like leveling as it as it were in the Buffy game. Um, what happens is when you have 
encounters, you are gaining experience. So at the end of every uh, episode, you get between like one and five experience points when you have enough experience points you can buy more qualities only specific qualities but you can buy qualities or you can um you can take more drawbacks if you want you can um improve your attributes and you can improve your skills so experience points are how you uh improve and you can do that whenever as long as you have the points to spend so you don't have to wait for me to tell you when you can level up you tell me when you want to get better you can save up for big things you can spend them as you get them that's um that's you know it's i'm gonna cute. save up to take slayer points there's gonna be two slayers <laughs> if you five by five me we will fight <laughs> I mean, I think uh, that's sort of how that goes. Oh, we're, we're, we're well, gunning well, for you. All three women here are going to be slayers by the end of this. Well, re Mark remember, man, uh, you wanted to die. You're you're very obsessed with this whole death thing. And if you're gone for four weeks, we got to tag somebody else in as Slayer. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I was like, I and never like, asked curses <laughs> foiled again. <laughs> you know what? It, it's one of those moments where it's just like, I love volu volunteering people to be volunteering and then, people, and then and then volunteering people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, for anybody watching, I was volunteered that I would be Slayer <laughs> because my imposter syndrome declared otherwise. But yes, yeah, let but us I tell think, you how how is, much they fought against. This the is how I'm playing Slayer is with this and this, and it's fun. <laughs> everything's fine you do what you gotta do uh three episodes okay. in she's gonna have to go to the hospital for a inadvertent <laughs> wine induced puncture wound oh no i mean uh, you know, this slayer is over 21 so let's go spoiler alert she's already had alcohol poisoning she knows how to deal with it it's fine <laughs> <laughs> okay okay uh, we're way off track we're yeah, back. Back again um so lastly we're just going to touch on the magic system in buffy because we do have a magic user in our party of sorts i was just um, gonna say there's magic yeah <laughs> there's a there's this character called willow she um she doesn't start out as a witch but she becomes one <laughs> so um magic in the buffy universe is different from a lot of magic um even in other unisystem games which unisystem is the system that this game uses um anyone can use magic but success will vary a lot um even succeeding doesn't necessarily mean that everything works perfectly um there are the way that magic in buffy works is you know, they use spells and rituals to invoke or appeal to a supernatural entity to produce an effect. Um, the, the powerful magicians, the witches and warlocks, uh, use their own will to affect the world directly, and then there are objects of great power. So, to make it quick, after an appropriate amount of stating your intentions, research and preparation as they always do in Buffy or you know try the caster casts the spell with a willpower plus occultism role spells have three elements there is the power level which is the overall strength of the spell the requirements so what does it take to complete um aka you know the components and the effect which is what it does a roll above a nine is a success so magic will happen but in order for the spell itself to work properly, the success levels of the roll must meet or beat the spell's power level. So if your spell is a power level four, you need four or more success levels for the spell to fully and appropriately work. Casting multiple spells without rest in between suffers a minus two cumulative penalty to further casting. So... 
for every turn that you cast another spell, you get, so your second time would be a minus two, your third time would be a minus four, your fourth time would be a minus six, etc., etc., until you basically can't roll magic anymore. And it's an extra minus one for using the same spell, because you only have resources for a, a limited amount of, especially if a spell requires like a physical component, those components get used up in the spell. So you might be shit out of luck and you can't cast that spell anymore um, for, until you get more resources. There are special casters in the Buffy universe. They are called witches and warlocks. They are the ones who are dedicated to magic. Um, they must have at least one level of the sorcery quality, but that lets them use magic more easily. Um, they get three things. They get improved spell casting. So they can add their sorcery level to their casting roll up to a plus five. Um, so Eddie, that's that's you. And then um, you also get telekinesis, which lets you move stuff with your sheer force of will. Um, it does require rolls and it does have cumulative penalties for prolonged use. So again, with that stamina and resource management aspect. Um, and then we'll cover that uh, when you actually, we'll get into the nitty gritty when you actually use it um, in a fight or something. Um, so you might want to test that out tonight. Um, and quick casting, which allows certain spells to be cast without all the components um, quickly, say like in a turn, as opposed to a ritual that could last five minutes or a day. Um, so that is the basics of the game. Does anyone have questions? Did I ask for this? <laughs> Is my question. No, Slayers don't ask for it. <laughs> I was like, no, Slayers never ask for it, which is also why this seems very fitting, both player and character. <laughs> We're going to start in, did I, I didn't ask for this counter for Ash. <laughs> Just every time I didn't ask for this, I didn't want this. Click, click, click. Nah, nah. Ash isn't that whiny. I'm more whiny than Ash is. Ash <laughs> is just kind of like pull up her big girl panties and just like move on. But oh, oh, but ten stamps and you get a free froyo. I thought you were gonna say ten stamps and I got a free tattoo and I was so excited. <laughs> Ooh, froyo though. <laughs> but tattoo. But tat, yeah. Yeah, it's like but tattoo. But tattoo. <laughs> nice. Um, okay. yeah, no, no serious questions, I don't think. Okay. Um, so actually, I actually I do have a semi serious question, and we did answer in chat earlier, but I do want to confirm that uh, the Slayer is not technically considered human. I know you and I talked about it, but you and I also got very, <laughs> very the Slayer, distracted. The Slayer is friends. super human. Okay, yeah, you and I yeah. very got very distracted in becoming friends when we were talking. So I was like, uh, it's the Slayer actually human? <laughs> No, I uh, know the Slayer, the Slayer is a superhuman. Okay. So the Slayer has exemptions from certain things and a lot okay. of extra bonuses. Um... <laughs> Negative. They are a meat popsicle. I mean, they I are. I went on it and nobody got it. Oh, it failed me all. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, but yeah, other than that, no actual serious questions on my end. Okay. Does chat have any questions? Yeah, I, chat, I, I mean, we have 14 viewers, so. Cool, okay. I, I'm just like scroll. chat's been going like crazy tonight, and I'm like, I can't keep up. <laughs> okay, no. so um, thank you guys all for being here again, because I have planned a little, a little practice encounter for you guys to um, sort of get your toes wet for the way that this, um, uh, this system works. So, if y'all are ready with your dice or your digital dice, oh God, uh, okay. <laughs> Can I sit this one out and just no. watch though? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, I if you don't feel comfortable yet, I'm not going to make you. I don't um, have my attributes finished. Glory. <laughs> Uh, first of all, shame. I'll shame her. Uh, 
Shame. 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 <laughs> um, hard shame. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. I forgive you. Um, I would prefer you to at least stay and watch. That would be great. Oh, yeah. No, I was intending to watch. I was just like, can I not be trying to fight with half a character? <laughs> I'm sure we can fudge some dice rolls or add some um, generic yeah. attributes. If if you wanted to do something, if something comes up that's in your character, then uh, why not? He'll bring you're like, the... oh, Estia would, would, would spring to action in this moment. This is what she would do. Then maybe I'll inform wrong. what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, excuse okay. me. Pardon me. I mean, you could also just, like, practice with what you have to get a feel for it, and then you know, you're going to feel for what would change. Would you actually finish your homework i mean i say as ash is like a c student and does their homework sometimes but you know <laughs> that, that's the fun of uh, a session zero is you're like oh i really want to be the face in this in this session and then you're like i have no charisma what is going on this is the character <laughs> um, envisioned if, if any if any of you watched the last game both kyle and i were in i played jay who is super 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 smart and uh hi <laughs> no Oh, so like it's it's like playing a super smart character. Back to yourself. You're that super smart. You're so being you're really mean same. to my friend right now. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Glory. I thought Jason was a treat, but <laughs> Glory, I mean, if you want, you can play, but I won't force you. All right. Ash is distracted. I'm gonna throw them. <laughs> okay. They so, are very um... tiny. <laughs> so so you guys, so this game, um, our game is going to take place in a custom setting, um, is still the modern, um, it's modern day, it's, you know, the same universe as Buffy, obviously, but, um, you guys are all students at the newly constructed, uh, Ohio State University Cleveland campus, smack dab on top of the uh, Cleveland Hellmouth, but, you guys don't really know that. <laughs> um, so we're going to start. You guys are at various tables in the food court. Um, it's a really nice new shiny food court. It's it's late at night. Um, Y'all just kind of got hungry. Pizza place is open. Ne uh, pretty late. Um, you had a, one of you had a study group. One of you, I don't know, just likes pizza. <laughs> Got it's, the munchies. It's me, man. <laughs> um, you know, you have various reasons to be there. We don't need to go into it for the purposes of an example or an example fight. Um, but you look up and there is a scream from off to the side and you see a girl being chased by this it looks like a guy but his face is real fucked up and so what do you do basically what do you do oh that's easy man i'm gonna chuck a chair at this dude that's just he's just being rude you can't go chasing ladies like that. Okay. Um... Has, has the, uh, the the adversary left the, the premises, or is he about to go through the door? Um, the the girl he was chasing uh, left, so he is... <sighs> has he passed through the threshold yet? Oh, he's already inside. No, I he's mean, like, um, from, from this, this chamber to the next chamber. Like, is it, is, is, uh... Is the adversary leaving this room? Is there a door that I can swing in his face as he tries to leave? No, he is in the main uh, food courtyard area that you guys are sitting in. He, the girl, he chased the girl into the food court and she is um, hiding kind of off to the side. Um, but now he turns and you see his fully disfigured face with a heavy slanted brow and a sneer of fanged teeth. 
uh, and I'm he looks there, like just like with my pizza. <laughs> Mid um, everybody, roll me a straight d10. Eighteen. Right. We are a d10 system. I'm sorry. Uh, this I meant is, to get uh, all my d10s. Out. An, a nine. A nine. An eight. Four. Four. Uh, Cheryl. You're closest to him. All right. Well, I'm gonna whisper to my uh, my my compatriots that are at the table that are listening for for the first thing for me to say because I'm the queen bee and I have spent the majority of the school year to ensure that. And I look at them and I go, "This is just like what happened to Patricia. Go, go grab your jacket, put it around her, and I'll go step up to this ugly cow." And and she's gonna march towards him, um, just thinking that he's a weird looking dude. <clears throat> <laughs> who in the right man do you think you are and uh if i see that yay is or, or, or Jacob is throwing a, a chair cheryl is going to do a combo move and all of a sudden halfway through the air uh the chair's gonna i'm gonna use telekinesis to throw it harder okay. to try and like stack rolls in that case let me go find telekinesis I like this. Um, I think it's. Oh, uh, it should be a, a willpower plus uh, uh plus spellcasting check, I believe. Let's go find it. Plus a d10. It's gonna be down here really fast. Here we go. Um, ooh, we got a beep. Also, the way I'm missing like several D10s, I'm not okay. <laughs> because we're a D10 game. And just like, what? Okay. What did you do with what your is... D10s? I, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Um... Willpower and sorcery levels. Yeah, I believe, yeah. I, I believe I can add my willpower and sorcery. And because it's a, a... When when two white hats work together, they 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 add the roles together. Is that correct, or am I? Yeah, or do we want to treat it as two yeah, separate actually. things. Yeah, actually, no, I like that. Or, I mean, I like it. It's also part of the rules. Um, <laughs> so yeah, um, this chair already has momentum from Yay, mm -hmm. and you are taking it and boosting it. So, um, let's see, Yay, roll me. Strength doubled. So just twice my uh, strength. Actually, no, just D10. just straight strength. Oh, straight strength plus. Okay, that's that's fine. That's, uh, sixteen. Okay, so that is on a D ten. That is four. Uh, it's, Ye has a Ye's a half demon with a strength of seven. Holy crap! <laughs> So that's four. And um, what did you roll at, uh, Cheryl? Uh, so unfortunately, I, I rolled the lowest I could possibly roll, so I rolled an eight. Oh. Okay. So what happens is you go to boost this chair and you miss because it's going by too fast. And this chair... Weirdly, chair is not uh, a base weapon in this game. <laughs> Weirdly, who would have thought? <laughs> um, have a let's... seat, man. Whoop. Um, I do have an actual out of character question, mechanics wise. Yes. Um. So, like, what if, like, so Yay has a plus seven. Like, are our traits? Is that like a? So Ash has like plus six or their trait is six for strength. Is that a plus six to the D10? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So it's like yeah. <clears throat> base D10 plus whatever we have as a trait gives whatever that is. You know, yeah, Bison, so, so... I like that. So instead of boosting the chair, you boost someone's uh, food into their face. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, is there some sort of way that I can roll that it was garlic flavored pizza? Give me a D ten. All right, I'll I'll take it. That's a five. 
It was garlic, but it was not stuffed crust. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> it had like the, the garlic crust, but it wasn't stuffed crust. So I actually broke my own tutorial uh, just now. We have to, uh, we forgot to do the intentions phase. So everyone actually says what they want to do before we actually get started. So um, we got Ye and Cheryl. What about um, Ash and Estia? Uh. <laughs> you know, I mean, Ash is probably like, these people come racing in. And I love Ash. They're great. They're a very social person. Um, but they're not the smartest stick in the bunch. So they're probably literally sitting there with their slice of pizza, like, dead in their mouth, just like... And they kind of, like, scramble up and try to, like, pick up a food tray and, like, the vampires it's running by. But it's very, okay. like, it's it's kind of delayed. So, food like, fight! I mean, yeah, I mean, they just, like, full-on just, like, drop their pizza slice from in their mouth, but they're still chewing as they pick up their own food tray and just try to smack it. Okay. Estia, do you want to try to do something, or do you want to, um... Uh, yeah. Um, so Estia will pick up... Um, actually, so, um... Essie is going to go for like the wooden the wooden pizza scooper thing that they have at pizza stores. Oh, the pizza peel? Yeah. Uh, the thing. <laughs> that yeah, does yeah, yeah. The, 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 the pizza loader that you put on yeah. the pizza the pizza stone. Are you working behind the counter, Estia? Are uh, you a, are you a worker at this fine pizza establishment or do you hop over the, the counter <laughs> to get the, the wood? Um basically i'm not sure i'm i'm like toying with either idea but uh for now let's let's say she's working there i am working there oh yeah okay um so we had yay just immediately throws this chair and um cheryl misses and launches someone's pizza into their face garlic pizza and that stuff crust um this this chair collides uh with this guy and make me yay make me a strength times two roll so d10 plus 14 yes <laughs> 23 23 okay this dice this guy, I'm keeping. this guy gets so i'm imagining um it's one of those food courts where like there's a, a circle of the restaurants and then there's like a nice wall of windows to like let light in but it's dark um you huck this chair at this guy and he he goes flying and the window cracks when he and the chair hit uh this um hit it uh let me get my calculator you said it was 23 yep he's paying for that <laughs> okay. it wasn't me nose goes so next we have ash with uh their food tray so what i want you to do um are you, uh, so this guy, you just saw this guy go flying into the window. Um, do you go up to him? Oh, I mean, like, I guess it's like, so intention is kind of like initiative, I guess. Intention is what you want to do. And then there's initiative where we decide who goes when. I, I okay. skipped that on accident. Um, no, it's okay. It's just like, in terms of like intention, like, if this guy's going to go flying into the window, Ash would probably forgo the food tray. Okay. So, it's 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 a whole, like, I mean, she wouldn't forgo the food tray in terms of, like, smacking him, but it's more like she would smack him on his way by. But if he's already... Do. 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to like interrupt you. No, it's okay. I just, I'm trying to understand the difference between intention and initiative in terms of like mental gameplay. It might be something that we need to iron out, which is a good reason that we're um, doing this. Yes. Um, Yes. That's why we're doing this. (laughs) This, this guy, this weird looking guy, he stands up. Um, he doesn't look all that hurt. Um, he, he stands up, kind of stretches, his neck cracks a little bit, and, uh, he looks between you, Ash, and Ye, and he goes, revenge? Or a snack. And then he looks around and goes, Snack. And he um, runs at you, Ash. Okay. Okay. Um, I do want to add a character, just Bison in chat. So, like, it's calling your shot in pool, like, in terms of stating your intention, or is that. I. It seems to me like it's everybody saying what they intend to do and then figuring out what order you get to do it in. But if you stay wait, but like, I mean, I get like stating what you intend to do, but then if everybody has a turn order, what you intend to do might not longer apply, which is totally fine. Like, I'm just trying to figure out. Yeah, that that was actually my question. Um, I was actually going to ask if we can, like, if you hear everybody's intention, can we change what we're going to do after we hear someone else's intention? I don't see why not. But well, also, intention. like, I I'm... think that what 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 it's trying to to emulate is the chaos uh, that you see in a lot of the fights in Buffy too, where you know Zand, you know Xander's getting ready to thwap a vampire with you know a chair or something, and Buffy just stakes it and goes to do something else, and now he's like, well, now I throw the chair. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's fine. It's like like Ash picks up their food tray to go to smack it, but then Yay just throws it into the window, and then Ash goes, oh shit, now what? You know, mm-hmm. type and of, now like, the vampire thing. is charging Ash. Yeah, can stay right. So, that okay, I yeah. Just, and I, that, out of character, was trying to wrap my brain around how gameplay yeah. that worked because I'm very used to like five E Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah. In that case, you know, yeah. Um, so like, in yeah. in that instance, I would say that um, because your intention was thwarted, you then have to use that that split second to decide how you want to react. Right. Like it's a re- okay. Gotcha. I just. Out of character, I was trying to figure out how like that works gameplay was, which is totally fine. I just my brain doesn't have to yeah, no, like, reconfigure itself. <laughs> thank you for asking. We, yeah. Thank you for helping us clarify. And is I, it that intention is just said at the, at the very beginning of combat? Yes, like, I ask yeah. all of it's, you. It's once, and then we do rounds, 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 rounds. Yes, right. But does it? So I guess as as Kevin just said, like, does intention? imply turn order or is intention no. like do we all just no. state intention so, and then roll initiative type of thing what's what's everybody looking to do with being of combat before we get into the nitty-gritty of initiative okay yeah love that yeah. okay and i guess are, i guess for you, scenes it's like what are you oh, looking like, to do how would that play out is initiative right and then once we decide how it plays out then we describe how it goes down and how the damage happens Okay, I love that. I'm a very role play based. And then you do that jam for each for turn. Sub. Okay, because so it changes in each turn. Wait, so glory, yeah. So, um, does intent like if we're stating our intents, is it kind of whoever speaks first, or is it do we go by the order of initiative for um, intents as well? So there are um, it, it can be done in multiple ways. Um, the way that I'm kind of looking at it is. Everyone tell me what they want to do, and then I decide what the best order would be to do it in, or, like, how it would logically play out based on, like, where you're standing, how far you might be, who the enemy is closest to, who the enemy is already engaged with, stuff like that. Um, You guys might state your intentions and then go, oh, wait, what if we teamed up? And then we can be like, okay, uh, that might take an extra second 
for you to get to each other. So we're going to have you guys go second and then Ash can go first or something. Um, so as a as a cast crew, can we decide intent as a group? Yes. Okay. I imagine that's probably how we get more bonuses too with like helping each other and stuff like that. Okay. Listen. Um so do we um... <laughs> Eddie has his hand. Yeah. <laughs> I said I said yes, Eddie. <laughs> oh, oh. My bad. I'm, I didn't I'm... hear that. I'm sorry, yeah. Um yeah, so um maybe maybe one one of the ways that we can do it is is at the very beginning when the, the dramatic thing happens, uh the director can can be like such and such, what's your initiative, what's your intent? Such and such, what's your initiative, what's your intent? And then the director picks like that order of like who says their intention, just for like cause if one of us walks into a, a scene that is a vampire, it might be like, okay, this is dramatically relevant to ask this person's intention and then descend or the director can just pick randomly or, or or anything like that as opposed to everybody jumping at the same time because i think that's the concern that some of the other casts yeah. are having the yeah, way I, think, that, I think that's um, what we all are <laughs> one of the ways so i'm just remembering this um when i played with some friends one of the ways that we kind of tweaked it was if you have something you want to do say it and then you can do it um and then you, there's no like limit. There's no turn order. There's just like, I mean, don't like hog the turns. But um, if you have your idea right away, go first. Um, say it first. And then that gives other people time to think. Um, and then someone can be like, oh, based on that, I want to do this. And then that happens and then you can play off of each other so um if that sounds like it would work better we can do that yes yes i just like i do have because like we're all experienced role players obviously we know how to role play in group scenarios but when it comes to like slayer with scooby gang for me personally like i fear that like in term like out of character like that whole like oh xander is getting ready to do this thing and then the slayer comes in and like that's like not expected but like it's a whole like well slayer what are you doing or like buffy doesn't know how to react so like she doesn't like you know what i mean so like i fear that like we're all such strong role players obviously we know how to role play with people but it's just i fear of like how that's going to happen with combat in terms of intent and initiative I kind of um, wonder if it's meant to um, kind of, it for your intent, maybe it's meant to, I would almost prefer if it conveyed what your character's ultimate goal is. Like, my actual action that you see right now is I grab the pizza paddle um, and... Like, that's the action, but perhaps during the intent round, I talked about, okay, I'm going to look around for, she's going to look around for anything um, nearby that she can hit with, and she's vaguely thinking that would would be better than metal, although she can't think of why right now. Like, describing that thought process seems like it would be a good use of that round. That's fair. I just... In terms of at least knowing how the internet works, also sometimes like lag happens, like it happens mm. all the time. Like, oh no, you go, no, you go, no, you go, no, you go. You know, yeah, that we're type all of we're all on we're all on a video a video thing. If we're all in person, then it's like <laughs> then it's like oh yeah, and and you can kind of have that natural thing. But uh, for people that are thousands of kilometers away from each other, it's like uh, right. So uh, like I'm wondering. So having a director be like you is might might right, might that's... feel more acceptable yeah. to, to chat yeah. and to the audience yeah. like i don't want to roll for intent so like because that seems kind of counterintuitive you know because like, i hard. personally like the idea of knowing what everyone kind of i feel like intent to me is more like your character's thoughts and feelings mm-hmm. and then initiative is when i would give you guys a chance to say what you want to do yeah absolutely and i love like yeah. seeing that inner character thing 
you know. I'm gonna deck him in the schnoz. Yeah. yeah. Right. So why With don't your we... initiative? What are you doing? I'm gonna deck him in the schnoz. Wait, yeah. So I, said... It would make me happy if I decked him in the schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> So I liked I liked the idea of in, of intent being like your thought process, um, and like how you might react, and then initiative would be, um, why don't we just I I was trying to avoid making it a rolling thing, but we might just have to make it a rolling thing. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, well, Siosa yeah. just had a good idea in chat too, but Kyle, you go first. Oh, just because combat's unpredictable. Yeah, I and mean, the Slayer could get distracted by something shiny. Um, you know, Ye could like be really high at the time and be like, "Oh man, Shiny. I forgot to tie my shoe <laughs> mid combat." And I mean, in this know. trial, Ash was literally eating a piece of pizza. She's like, "Oh yeah, hell yeah, pizza!" And then she's like, yeah. "Oh shit, yeah, what?" So yeah, the the rolling <laughs> works because you, you. I mean, you can have a great plan, but actually executing on it and and everything isn't a, isn't a given. You'd be like, "I'm yeah. gonna knock that guy <laughs> out," and like smaller, faster people before you kicked him in the junk four times, and now he's already you know regretting life and i'm like well yeah and we're I'm not thinking about like creatures and initiative we're, we're also like rolling initiative versus like the bad people yeah. so it is yeah, very important right. to know to know like who's more dexterous like just mechanically speaking yeah right and so like also something that was asked a little bit before in chat too is like does this like does intent happen every turn it again does. all it's okay, supposed so, to. i mean like all of us here as players and director and cast and things like like we're all experienced role players i think we can all play off each other really well um but like once we find that groove so it's just you know do we want to take that time to roll for it or is it just like something that you chris will be like okay you know estia what's your intention Jacob, what's your intention like and i think it's just like a as Eddie was saying, like a randomized thing. I mean, it might, if you want it to be a role thing, that's totally fine. But I also think like randomized also might be well too. Um, I, yeah, I prefer the, the, I prefer the sure. randomized. Yeah. Um, personally. So, I mean, maybe <laughs> just have a D4 that you just, bup, 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 you know, like, yeah. Hey, you know, that's not a bad idea. Randomized intent and then you roll initiative. That's, that makes sense to me. Yeah. And I mean, Bison's right. It's like, this is the one mechanic that I think would be, yeah. Tweaked all I season. Mean, and I think the more that we role play with each other, we absolutely we don't have to like adhere one hundred percent to what the book says as well. We can yeah. tweak things because there are definitely mm -hmm. rules that I have read that I'm like that's excessive. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, all right. So absolutely... at the beginning of every initiative, we're just going to do any money mo. Basically, I think so. All right. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> Hmm? My computer just freezes. Okay. okay. But yeah, I mean, yeah. like, I like the idea of setting intent because, again, like, Ash might go, like, her intent might be to finish her slice of pizza and swing her pizza yeah. tray at the thing. Yeah. And then, like, by the time she picks it up, the vampire's already slammed into a window. Kevin keeps, like, um, thing. yeah. Kevin keeps making the we point that we have two weeks to figure we this out. So. We yeah, we have time. <laughs> we uh, have time. Glory's computer Kevin, just rebooted, Kevin, even though Kevin, we get it. We get it. She Kevin. didn't want it. <laughs> to do oh, so no. so she'll be back as soon as she can okay okay yeah, um i mean we do have two weeks to figure this out so we can figure this out yeah. privately yeah. too yeah um but anyways anyway to so, keep going in this trial run so i thought when we left it the vampire was charging at ash yes, yes. the vampire was charging at ash which is good because taking a bite out of yay right now would be like taking a bite out of a huge ass edible okay. <laughs> <laughs> so ash uh also time of day do we have a time of day uh it's it like night? it's, it's night like time. nighttime yeah so yeah. Ash just like mid slice they probably go to like pick up their trays swing it at the vampire it's already thrown into the wall window right by the time they swing their food tray so half their food goes flying when it starts charging at them they probably break the tray over their knee right just mm -hmm and go to take that sharp edge of plastic and just i mean it's not wood but it's better than anything because like some trays these days are like those like weird like the recycled straws right they're like partially oh, it's wood. made of bamboo yeah like it's partially it's, wood. A, like it's a one lot of those bamboo are... biodegradable trays. <laughs> yeah, yeah a lot of them are these days yeah. so yeah. like that's her thought process is that she just you know and she just snaps it and goes to like stab at this vampire with her like tray because she doesn't have time to reach for her other supplies. Okay, um, make me a dexterity plus getting medieval roll. Okay, um, so help me here. 
Um, so it's getting medieval. Yes. Yeah, so you would so roll. Oh my god! I forgot to add all the points that I was supposed to. <laughs> so I have like the dexterity, which is seven, but I forgot to add all the um, all the skills. All the skills, which I was supposed let's just to assume do. a getting medieval of. Wait, no, but I know what I'm supposed to have. Forget. It. Wait. Oh, because I told you I was going to add all my skill powers. Yeah, I did. I did. I did tell you that. I shame. Did you shame? <laughs> I'm better than Glory. Okay. <laughs> um, but Ash has um two levels at least in getting medieval. So we're talking plus nine, yep. right? Plus yeah. nine. Plus so nine. At, at least plus nine. At least yeah. we'll go plus at least plus nine. Um, nineteen. 19 that is excellent five successes um he's gonna try to dodge and he absolutely does not so um oh good lord it's sending me to a different page (laughs) let's call it um Call it two times strength damage. I'm sure. So I roll. So when you say two times strength, we're talking d10 plus 12 because she is six. Yep. Oh, you know what? No, I did that wrong because you don't roll for damage. You just a lot damage. So it would be your strength score times two. Okay, 12. Okay. So Ye wouldn't have actually done that full 23, but we can leave it as it is. We caught him by surprise. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. I mean, so who bad. expects a chair to the face at 8 p.m.? He is stunned and also kind of full of pizza grease now. <laughs> um, huh. And he looks at you and goes, You are different from the others. You'll taste even better. And he goes to bite you. Uh... Absolutely not. (laughs) Absolutely not. So what you can do is you can uh, make a dodge action to try to resist his bite. That is going to be Dexterity plus acrobatics. But she also has... uh, Hold on. Where is it? So you've already already done your attack. This is your defense. Okay, Okay, so it's dexterity plus acrobatics. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I told you I didn't put my... I didn't put my things in. Shame. (laughs) Shame. Shame. But this is why we're doing the trial run, right? This is why Glory is here too. Hi, Glory. But I also didn't do my skills either. Oh no. <laughs> so Wait, apparently... you you were oh <laughs> the betrayal. The betrayal. We all take a sip, except for Ken. Except for except for Kyle. It's fine. Um, so you know what? Because of the shame, I just get to roll my decks because I didn't actually put my things into the skills. That sounds fair. Okay. <laughs> um, so... So roll plus dexterity. No. Nope. What'd you get? I got a nat one, so it's an eight. Because so- I didn't put my skills in. Are our critical fails and critical successes a thing in this game? Because no. we need to know. No. They're not. They're not. That I know. That I know. <laughs> yeah. So um the thing about using a lunch tray and just letting your food slide off is that there's food on the floor now. Um This was the wrong time to give peas a chance, man. You actually slip into him, and he bites you for 18 damage. 
Uh, wait, but I have that thing. I have that thing. I have that thing. That Don't I have a resistance somewhere? Uh, let me pull up your sheet. Resistance. Resistance. Penalties of self preserve severe wounds. Oh, no. It just adds to willpower and constitution. Never mind. I don't have resistance to active damage. Never mind. You take 18 points of damage. That's fine. She's a beast. She's a beast. She's more than fine. Yep. Um, wait, so in our character sheets on roll 20, if you don't mind me asking, because that's why we're running this tutorial. So I have the life points, and then mm -hmm. beneath that I have the so do I put that damage into the wounds? Or do I or do I, do I just change my life points? My just, um because actually... there's life points and wounds. And I just I don't know what one I put it into. I um, believe you just remove life points. Yeah, just remove. Make a note of what your maximum life points are and then just subtract life points. Oh, I need to put that on a sticky somewhere that's bright yellow. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I will do that. Move on. I'm, I mean, I'm, unless we're not moving on because wouldn't be surprised. All right. But, uh, so, Estia, would you like to go or are you um, still continuing? I, I have no idea what's going on right now. Right. We're fighting vampires with pizza. my Yeah. My computer rebooted. Yeah. So, okay. so um, whatever we're doing after uh after he um got like stood up from the glass and was like rude. Um uh, after he, that. he looked back and forth between Jacob and um Ash and decided to go after Ash because he's hungry. Um, and Ash tried to run at him with half of a lunch tray to try and like stab him and ended up slipping into him and he bit her. Didn't she do at least some damage to him though? Like she, <laughs> she completely missed. No, she did like no, top no, she, damage. She she slashed him with the yeah. The tray, she remember? slashed she him. The, he didn't. He didn't. Oh right, 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 right. Oh so, yeah, you were. Um. So I'm imagining sorry. she the, you failed your dodge. Him. That's what it was. You failed yeah. your dodge, guys. I have ADHD. I was like, excuse me. Right. So she slashed oh. him, slipped on the peas that fell on the floor when they broke the tray over their their knee as part of the slash. You know, totally oversold it uh, and left themselves open to a nice necular shoulder area mm -hmm. nibble i love the necular area <laughs> you necular. guys okay. may have to ke help keep me accountable because my adhd brain sometimes forgets also i wasn't joking when i said bright orange i <laughs> mean hey whatever works <laughs> what i need to do okay okay right. um and so that's where we stand yes, yes that's, that's pretty much where we stand okay so um So we don't know what Ye is doing yet after he chucked that chair. We're still in Correct. the first round of combat. Mm -hmm. This um, is why we're doing oh, this. Um, you don't have to do combat things. There is uh, a girl scared in the corner. There are people running around trying to be like, what the hell is going on? Um, you did say you were behind the counter? Behind the counter grabbing a, a, the pizza paddle. Um... And then running back around the counter with Pete's paddle and trying to hit the dude. Okay, yeah. Um, make me a um pizza. Is it? Make me a pizza roll. Um, <laughs> Totinos, please. Um, make me a dexterity plus getting medieval. Okay. Um. If you don't have your dexterity, just do getting medieval times three, because those scores aren't going to be as high as other ones. Okay. Um, so that's a plus three to whatever I roll. Question mark? What's your getting medieval? I don't see that. 
It's on <laughs> your skills <laughs> and spells, the second tab. Okay. Down you don't have drive. any, that's why. I was like, oh. that's that's the shame that we're I was both like, having. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I would say then maybe default to the the, the average dexterity for, for, for people is two. Yeah. Like okay. for your average thing. So and maybe a one in getting medieval or going medieval because of your aunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so D10 plus so three. Still a plus three. Yeah. 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 Um, 11. 11. Oh. Cool. Two successes. Nice. Yay. So, um, you, he is going to try to dodge though. He's letting go of the bite to dodge. He's letting go of the bite to dodge because uh, he, smart values, he values not being bashed in the head with a wooden pizza peel. Um, he does dodge. So uh, he beats you by one point or by, by one and he uh, steps out of the way uh, kind of dragging Ash with him because he still has them grappled in his arms. And you just kind of run past him with the pizza peel. Ah! Um, that's my turn, I think. Yes. Yep. So now we're back into the um, in the, the contentious intentions phase. But that's why we're doing this because it's like, oh, who knows? Yeah. Let's. So we've. I think the way that makes sense is that we've established the order already and we're just going to go through that. So do you want to do intention in with initiative, but just state your intention at the top of each round? Or are we holding whatever initiative you rolled at the start of the combat is what you keep? Right, yeah. Let's try this. Everybody, now that we've done... Our first round. Everybody tell me what they're doing next. And we can figure out how that might work out. So, um, what a eeny, meeny, miny, Jacob. What is Jacob going to do once uh, he sees um, what's just happened? Uh, Jacob is going to take the sharpened uh, chopsticks out of his pocket. Because, you know, carrying around a steak is kind of suspicious, but very pointy uh, chopsticks is less so. Uh, they're still half in their P.F. Chang's wrapper. Uh, and he's going to try and go for the heart from the back. Because he's not sure he um, can... Okay. Go for the heart from the back. So, let's get this here. Um... What is okay? So I need to go find the steak. Where's the steak? Okay. Um. So before that actually happens, we um. Other people state their intentions. Yeah. yeah. Oh go right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 yeah thank you. Again, my... thank you. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay. Um. <laughs> um and I'll go next. Yeah. What is Esty going to do? Ah, uh, the first hit worked out really well, kind of. So she's gonna try it again. Okay. Okay. Um, what's Cheryl gonna do? Um, there, you said that there are still people in this room. So Cheryl's intention is gonna try and clear all these people out. She's not dumb. She saw that man try and bite somebody and, and, and know some occultism. So if you allow it, I can understand that this is a vampire. Uh so she's gonna try and get the crowd to leave before they see it turn to dust. Okay. Um, make me a um <laughs> What are the? That, that's her Wait. intention. Ash needs to escape. Yeah, intention. I was like, oh. <laughs> I'm still in like Dean's for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Ash. So Ash is being dragged by this thing. Yes. By um, the neck. I was like, by, by the neck. neck. Not by, by the, the neck. Arm, he by kind the of leg. he he has you grappled, so he is like holding you by your shoulders and but like where is dodge, he biting me because he's he biting bit you on the neck apparently. he bit you on the neck 
Christian is... side hug biting into your neck. It was more like a <laughs> like a, a he, he bit and then released because he didn't want to get paddled. Hey. Yes. Okay, I mean, can she sing this mofo? Like solar plexus instep nose groin? Like that's <laughs> like that's, that's uh her. you can you can do one of those. I but I mean she's seen the movie Miss Congeniality. Why can't she do all of them? You can make one attack. Um, okay, well she's gonna try to uh wait, hold on. I need to Uh, she's gonna she's gonna solar process him <laughs> into in terms of the uh sing acronym solar plexus insep nose groin. Uh, she's gonna try to just really. I mean, you guys can't see me on camera, but you okay. know, just the she's gonna try to hardcore uh stomp on his foot to make her to make him just like let them go, like okay. just so hardcore. Um, I always go for the Bojangles. I'm I mean, but like it only works when you solar plexus incept nose groin. Like, <laughs> as a man that's... with the dangly bits, I can tell you, you do need not need to do any of those other things <laughs> to incapacitate me. Yeah, but, don't uh, give away now, the secret. But now on the way that it's side hug, it's a little bit different. Now so we're determining order, like, and my yeah. so what I want to try for this this part of determining order is, um. Uh, Ash is the closest to this vampire, so she can do something immediately. So Ash should go first. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, I'm with yeah. it. Um, yeah, sure. And then, yeah. um, I would say Estia then, because Estia ran past him, so she is near. Uh, she is next nearest. Jacob, because you haven't actually moved towards the vampire, uh, you would be third. And then because Cheryl is kind of acting simultaneously, Cheryl will just be the last um, because it, it isn't necessarily going to affect the um, the combatants. Does that make sense? Yep. I, I yes. do have one one request, if that's okay, Director. I would like... Uh, my, my intention is to avoid... Uh, the the vampire turn into dust in front of all these uh, innocents, so all these guest characters. So if I could go before he's getting stabbed in the back, it, okay. sorry, in the heart with 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 wood, that would be that would be excellent for my intentions. Yep. Okay, then we'll have um, then that. Thank you for arguing your point, your case, and I agree that you can go first. So give me a um uh. Let's make it an intelligence plus, um, where is it? Nope. Nope. Influence. That's what it is. Intelligence plus influence. All right. Well, um, Cheryl's going to stand up. Uh, there's the, her friends, her minions that have gathered the young woman that was being sailed. And it's just, everybody, everybody, I'm certain we're all familiar, because uh, this is current day i presume mm -hmm. 2023 yeah this man is exhibiting unknown uh, uh unknown side effects so i i assure you you should all remove yourselves from the premises to avoid any close contact stay at least four to six feet away from this man have any of you seen containment fuck it you've seen the last two three years get the fuck out of here and she's gonna just make it seem like he has a new virus uh and my understanding of influence roles is cheryl is pretty Two points and pretty. So for some yes. reason that makes me more influ influential. Uh, <laughs> it's it's so that means I have a plus nine. Is this gonna be Ash and Cheryl's common point? <laughs> uh so yeah, I've 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 three yeah. intelligence, four in influence, and then uh two for being pretty, I believe, right? Uh that makes sense to me. The bonus to any activity that includes usually an influence rules. Okay. Don't forget to use my G Fuel code. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to roll another natural one, so that is a 10. Okay, well, you still succeed. Um, A couple people, like, stop for a minute and kind of look at you, and you're like, and they're like, who are you? Okay. Uh, Close contact. I'm a woman of authority. Just listen to me. I'm just... 
snaps her fingers. <laughs> people are still just like a couple people kind of come to their senses and like follow where you lead them, but it's still kind of pandemonium. So next is Ash. Okay, I mean, Ash is being dragged along by this thing. He only dragged you, like, two feet. I mean, yeah, but, like, being dragged two feet is a long way to be dragged when you're you're humanoid. So as she's being dragged, she just full-on just, like, right, right in the solar plexus, just, like, right in its center core with her elbow, you know, uh, just full on elbow like because she's just trying to let, get this thing to let her go so that she can do something else to it you know okay uh, so that's that's what she's doing and she doesn't yell either like most people would like scream cry like whatever you know no she's just like pretty quiet and she's just full on just like so focused on this thing that she is just like she it's kind of like she like takes one hand does this and just right in this thing's like solar plexus which if nobody knows where your solar plexus is one google's a thing two uh it's like right between your rib cage at the end of your sternum <laughs> okay so make me so, make me a dexterity plus kung fu i don't have any skills chris um <laughs> then yes do straight I, dexterity. I mean, well, I, well, because um, wait, Slayer has at least plus two to come through. It's plus two to come through, plus two to get a medieval, right? At least, uh, yes. Okay, so it's at least plus two to whatever my dex is. But you didn't actually put any of the numbers in, so you but don't get them. I don't. Yeah. Shame. Blah 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 <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> actually, you know what? For anybody paying attention to what the GIF I'm referring to is go to our discord and our game chat and the willow blah 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 that's how i'm feeling right now is <laughs> blah 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 i get plus two to come through and dexterity <laughs> that's what that is um so dexterity plus two uh this dice this dice seems nice three plus uh 12 12 okay he is still holding on to you so he doesn't really (laughs) he's a little too close to be able to dodge that because you're right up like next to him Mm -hmm. so um that is two successes where was my table um what is your strength score? Six. Okay, he takes 12 damage. Um, he, he does not take that well. Um, <laughs> he is... Uh, if he could breathe, he would be... Um, very winded that's the um (laughs) he can't he can't breathe he he it does run through his head that it could have been lower and it could have hurt more (laughs) um but he is he is kind of taken by surprise a little bit and um and that is when estia comes up and what do you do, Estia? Um, I'm trying to hit him again with your pizza peel with yep with my big ass paddle, big ass paddle <laughs> with so, that bap. Um, my bat bat. It's bat time. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be the same uh, dexterity plus getting medieval. Um, and I think we said that was like a plus three for you. Um, yeah. So I get a nine. An, okay, cool. So that you rolled a nine. He has fully, because he was hit so hard by Ash, he has fully released Ash. Um, 
he's going to try to dodge and he he just like you swing your pizza peel and he's like oh but he gets low like right in time for you to like swing it over his head damn it um so now it's yay yay <laughs> So dexterity plus getting medieval. Um, you actually. Uh, yes, dex plus getting medieval. Uh, minus three because you're trying to go through the heart. Minus three, so which is plus four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, so that that actually beats his dodge because he keeps trying to dodge but you how do you approach him oh you go uh, reckless do you sneak up he's just just striding right up to him and he's just like your order's up man <laughs> and with the chopsticks Bam. this guy goes <gasps> and just dust particles falling to the ground and it's quiet everyone has either deserted or cowered behind counters you see heads starting to sort of pop up but in terms of hey, come you back know, here man I'm just like I, picturing I, I, like Estia's swing going like through the ashes and like almost swinging up back around to hit. Uh, yay! Also, Ash, you're covered in ashes now. <laughs> Oof. Oh, you're uh, muted. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to be unmuted for that one. Uh, Eddie, Eddie has his hand raised. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. uh, okay. if it's allowable, I'd like to uh, <clears throat> share with Lout to use her uh, telekinesis to open up the window, let in a gust of air, and just very dramatically, kind of over the top, just go, Oh no, he escaped into the night! Someone please go find him! And is going to try and just have people yeah. not, like, when they hit, pop head up, pop head up, okay. be like, where did so he go? You you can you can use your telekinesis to get the window open. That's fine. It's just you know flipping yeah. a latch and kind of pushing. But um, make me a um, make me a willpower plus influence roll. That's <laughs> the best thing you've said all night. I have a plus eleven of that. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Oh, yeah, Fire your keep dice. Rolling so low. Fire your dice. They're they're like. Okay, man, that was weird. I don't want to think about it. Uh, you can just sort of see that expression on their faces. They're like, we're gonna go. <laughs> and they kind of, like, beat it. And so the four of you are left standing in this somewhat trashed food court. I mean, Ash is literally right next to this thing. And so she probably just goes <laughs> just down her face and just, like, you know, like just blowing it all off, and like it starts slow, but then she's just like, putting like running her hand through her hair. Yeah, you got you got <laughs> dust all over you. Yeah, and she's just like, man, I, my pizza. I have a, I have a my brush pizza. in my in my purse if you'd like to like to use it. I am so disappointed in how all these other folks responded to such tragedy. A young woman was in trouble. What what in the world were they thinking? Stood there, gobsmacked. People aren't aren't always heroes right away, man. Ash is just so concerned about their pizza. Like they just they're just like my pizza. Is, is speaking <laughs> of is, is there are there more pies back there? Cause I think there's some ash blown on 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 my slice. <laughs> yeah. I mean this nobody is why Ash and Yay are friends. Nobody <laughs> is left in the food court and they're there is half a pizza left in the display case. Uh, Asher's gonna look to Estia and be like, is there a pizza back there? Because, like, Estia used that pizza thing the entire right. night, so she's just 
Is there a pizza part there? Thank <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <That's> God. <it. sighs> so as the as this gust uh this breeze wafts through uh the food court, it kind of picks up these dusty vamp particles and whooshes them away and you guys are just left to do what you'll do for the rest of the night eat pizza sleep for 12 hours to process it whatever you guys do i imagine estia has to like sweep and like fix (laughs) fix the, the pizza shop But um, we'll we'll uh, close our scene on that. All right. It was a little messy, but we figured some stuff out. We did, we did. That was the it's important part. Yeah, that's why we're doing the tutorial and yeah. things like that. Seems like a reasonable way to introduce each other. Yeah, I mean, you won't know each other in, in session one, but. Oh, this is an alternate universe type thing. Yeah, or is this, this is, did this yeah. actually happen? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is this is like a this never happened. Yeah, it's a bit of a what if. Mm-hmm. So what if uh, none of them went to that party? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, they. What if all of them stayed at the food court instead of going to the party that you all will see two weeks from now? <laughs> <laughs> the unaired pilot mm-hmm. yes so, <laughs> uh, that's the, that's the surprisingly original. only had one location this it's... is the original Buffy movie versus the show it's the yep. thing we don't talk about yeah <laughs> the reason you get so this this food court was actually at regular OSU and then you had to transfer because you destroyed it <laughs> oof big oof big oof that's a reference anyway um thank you guys so much um for being here for being so down for all of this um for keeping me on my shit um thank you bat kyle yay is amazing and uh (laughs) the marijuana consumption will be high (laughs) um (laughs) thank you eddie Cheryl is going to be uh, the bell of the ball, I'm sure. Um, Thank you very the much. monster's ball. The monster's ball. Monster <laughs> mesh. I, the, the, the debutante with uh, an agenda. <laughs> um, A walking woman, yes. Thank yes, you. that's the... I, I'm running out of words. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Mana, for um, Ash and her pizza. Um affinity and her it's gonna continue their, i'm sorry they're um i mean they're literally gender yes is their pronoun gender so yes that's, yeah that's um she they he does not thank matter you for bringing them to this game i look forward to all of their mixed up priorities and gloriosa estia is going to be fun to mess with Oh gosh! <laughs> you, y'all fill out your character sheet. <laughs> um, Shame. At, Shame. At least it was both Gloria and I. I feel so prepared. <laughs> Yesterday, yeah, I was you... like, I should probably learn what the fuck is going to be happening tomorrow. <laughs> no. Um, thank Me. you to Kevin, our producer, and thank you to you guys um, for watching on uh, live on twitch or uh later on youtube uh this is my first outro ever i think so and you did a great (laughs) job please you've been doing it thank you chris you got it you got it thank you chris um thank you for putting up with my sort of fumbling as i as I, i i have so many pages pulled up here so um i love you all i'm so excited for this game um, I love your enthusiasm and I'm so grateful for it. Y'all in chat are amazing. I can't wait to start this amazing adventure. And remember, please be, be kind good to each other. Yes. All right. Have a good night.